Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jake Ferdin Tech here, back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about if you are a power user, either on a desktop or gaming laptop, if you are able to perform any sort of overclocks or undervolts to your system in on any particular system. So I've been getting tons of comments on one of my videos I did a little while back on the Zephyrus M15 gaming laptop. This was a video where I went in and showed you guys how to undervolt the system to get a little bit better thermals, but I've been flooded with comments and DMs about people not being able to undervolt their laptops or desktops. Usually it's a laptop scenario. So in this video, I wanted to kind of answer the questions of why you might not be able to on your particular laptop. And this goes for desktops as well, but the first big reason you might not be able to perform any sort of overclocks or undervolts on your system is because your system might have a locked CPU. So this is something that's much easier to identify if you are building your system from scratch and buying all the parts individually, as when you go to purchase your CPU, it stands out pretty clear whether or not the CPU is unlocked or not. For instance, I have this i7-8700K right here. Well, this is the box to it, but you can see in the SKU that it actually is a 8700K, which in Intel's case, that means usually the CPU is unlocked. And on this particular box, it actually does say unlocked on it. Same goes for AMD. Their SKUs are gonna be a little bit different, but a lot of them that say have an X at the end, a lot of times those are unlocked CPUs like the 3900X and other CPUs like that. It has the X in the product name, so a lot of times those ones are unlocked. So what exactly is the difference between locked and unlocked CPUs? Well, basically, it pretty much is what it sounds like. If you have a unlocked CPU, that CPU from the manufacturer has all the capabilities of adjusting the clock speeds and running any sort of overclocks that you'd like in performance adjustments. And that also does include undervolting and voltage adjustments. In talking about locked CPUs, it is the exact opposite where you get the chip directly from the manufacturer or obviously from a major retailer. If it is a locked CPU, you aren't able to adjust the clock speeds or the voltage adjustments through your BIOS on that particular CPU. Like I said, this isn't always easy to identify, especially if you're purchasing a pre-built desktop system or some sort of laptop, as a lot of times just off the bat, they'll just say what exact CPU it is. Like in many cases, you'll just see on the product label, it's an i7. You don't exactly know unless you look at the full spec sheet of which i7 it is. I've noticed too through a lot of the big system integrating companies that have pre-built systems or that you can go through a system builder and build out a system, a lot of times it won't say right off the bat what CPU you are purchasing. It'll just say a Ryzen 9 or like I said, Intel i7, whatever CPU it might be, but you don't get the full product name in which exact model of that CPU you're buying. So a lot of times you'll have to dig a little bit deeper to see what exact Ryzen 9 they're giving you or what exact i7 they're giving you, whatever the CPU might be. So once you get that actual product name, you can Google search it and see a little bit more of the specifications and see if it is locked or unlocked. So on the Zephyrus M15 that I have, this particular laptop has a i7 10750H and that's another one I didn't know right offhand if it was unlocked or locked, but like I said, you can do a quick Google search on that particular CPU and get the actual specs of that CPU. I think the H is just for it being a mobile processor opposed to a regular desktop processor. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've been getting flooded with comments on, you know, certain people's particular gaming laptop, them saying that they don't see the same options from that video that I made in the BIOS for undervolting. And in many cases, people will hit me up and say they have a G14 or a different model Zephyrus laptop. And just clearing that up, like I said in this video, not all of them are able to have any sort of overclocks or voltage adjustments due to the fact that they might have a locked CPU. So another reason why you might not be able to perform any type of voltage adjustments or overclocks on your system is kind of a rare scenario, but sometimes manufacturers, when they launch a product, they will have certain BIOS features available. 
And if they get a lot of issues with people tampering with that and having issues with their system, and they're getting a lot of these systems back for warranty, sometimes in future releases they will lock out some of those features just to protect the product a little bit more and so the users don't have as many issues with. Like I said, this is kind of a rare scenario for certain products out on the market, but I did have somebody recently reach out to me on, in the comment section saying that they have the same exact Zephyrus M15 that I have, same model, same SKU and everything, and they didn't have the same undervolting features that my BIOS has on my M15. Digging into it a little bit more and doing some research, some people did say that they've had the same issue, and somebody said that in later releases of this particular product, they did lock out those features in the BIOS. So this is another thing where your product might have a different BIOS version from another. Depending on the BIOS version, in some cases, you might have certain features disabled from another BIOS. So that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I just wanted to put this video out to kind of give you guys a little bit of an insight on why certain BIOS features might not be available on your particular device, whether that's a gaming laptop or your custom built PC or pre-built PC, whatever it might be. And these could be the potential reasons on why you aren't able to adjust the clocks or voltage on your particular system, whether it be a locked CPU or a different BIOS from another product. So a lot of people in the comments have been mentioning to me they have a Zephyrus G14 or some other model Zephyrus or Strix, a pretty big variation of laptops. So I would say the biggest thing for you all to do is just check and see if your CPU on your particular laptop is locked or unlocked. And that'll give you a good indication on whether or not you're able to overclock and adjust some of the voltage configuration on your particular device. In most cases, when I've looked up the particular products that a lot of people in the comments have been sending me, a lot of times I find that their CPU is locked. That is it for this video guys. If you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like on it and if you want to see more tech related videos like this one be sure to subscribe. As always guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.